Hello, my name is Ravia Flieger. I'm a BBA 6 student and uh, I'm from Germany originally. For my BBA 2, I've already um, had the experience of working for the Mandarin Oriental in London and I really enjoyed working there and like the way I was treated as a trainee. And so for my next internship, I was sure I wanted to do another internship with Mandarin Oriental. For my BBA 5 internship, I went to Hong Kong. Um, I was doing it in the landmark Mandarin Oriental. I was part of the service team of the Two Missions to Restaurant Ember by Richard Ekebis. In the future, I would like to pursue a career in FMB. So I was looking specifically for something FMB related, more specifically actually fine dining. And I was looking on Simplicity and there I was able to find the offer of the event more. Back in BBA 1, we had a lot of courses from the CDFP on how to develop your CV, how to do the LinkedIn page, and I think based on this foundation, I was able to just maintain this high level of CV and LinkedIn as well, which is really crucial because actually when I applied, I saw someone from the HR of the hotel checking my LinkedIn and I'm like, oh, okay. I know they are looking at it. From growing up as a kid, I always knew I didn't want to stay in Germany to work. So I, I'm studying in Spain. I did an exchange in the US. I went for my first internship to London and then to Switzerland. So I always wanted to go basically as far away from home as possible. Hong Kong, I think, is so different because it's so versatile. You have the part in the center that's a lot more westernized and a lot more influenced by the Western culture. But then depending on which neighborhood you go to, you realize how it gets more and more, let's say, local and traditional. And so just wandering around without having Google Maps, I would say, and just trying to like, see the streets, discover new things, and try the food and just enjoy the atmosphere is something that's very unique for Hong Kong in general. Uh, the first day I started off being in the backup house, so I was just polishing glasses, running food, and actually on my first day I was so scared of breaking anything because in my head I just had this image of, wow, I'm working in a two mission star restaurant. So I was just literally shaking while polishing glasses, being scared that I would drop something. But what was actually interesting seeing like from day to day and week to week, the more you learn, the more confident you get. So the first time I was working on the floor, like being in touch with the guests, I just wanted to hide in the back. Um, but then you learn about the rest of you learn about the table numbers, the chair numbers, which are extremely important. And then I think the last thing I really had the chance of learning was how to be able to read the guests. And just seeing this progress of, for my first day being scared of polishing glasses to the last day where I enjoyed so much being on the floor and interacting with the guests was uh, really satisfying. So now coming back when everyone asks you, oh, how was your internship? I think my standard answer is just like nodding and saying really good. But in my back of my head, I remember all the long days, the long working hours, the being on your feet all day and just asking myself, what exactly am I doing here? Um, but then of course, it's also the contrary of, especially thinking back now, the amazing friends I've made. I've met some incredible people which I would have never expected. The knowledge I've gained, the personal progress, um, but also just enjoying Hong Kong and now looking back it just feels like a dream.